is Tesla's estimate of fuel cost savings when you order your Tesla realistic? We'll find out. Hey there, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, I document my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new owners learn more about this amazing car and also for future owners who are still researching to make an informed decision on their purchases. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Before I start today's video, I want to give a big shout out to Wesley who used my referral code. I saw that you ordered your Tesla on the 28th of December and then you took delivery the very next day on the 29th. So congratulations on your new ride and that you're able to take that full $7,500 federal tax credit before year end. As you can see, today I am doing another indoors video because number one, it's raining outside. So whoever tells you, it's a lie, don't believe it. But secondly, and the important part is, I'm going to share with you how much I spend on gas and also on supercharging in 2018. When I ordered my Model 3, I was skeptical about the claimed estimate fuel cost savings that Tesla has on their website. So if you go to Tesla's website and you place an order, it's going to show you the six year potential fuel cost savings that you could have after you own an EV. I actually have been quite skeptical because I never owned an EV before. Granted that the gasoline price is high here in LA and I drove a BMW so I had to put premium gas in it but I was still not convinced how much that saving would be so now this is the beginning of 2019 and I decided to dig up all my receipts from 2018 to compare the money I spend on gasoline versus on supercharging. As you remember from my previous video, I took delivery of my Model 3 on July 14th, 2018. So it's sort of the midway in between the first half and the second half. So I hope that this comparison would be helpful to you. And of course, this is not everybody's case. I have to preface this by saying that I do live in a condo. And as you saw in that early screenshot, my car is parked all the way outside where I can't install a charger. So I have to rely on supercharging and free public charging around town. And when I travel, I have been using supercharging, I would say consistently between July since I first picked it up through mid-October and then from October up until now I found that there is a charge point free public charging installed by the city of Santa Monica thank you so much which is a block away from my work you get two hours of free parking so every day when I'm at work I would go and charge it up every two hours or if on a non-busy day, I go charge twice a day to juice up my car during the week that way. And when I do road trips, which happens to be more often toward the end of the year, then I would use more of the supercharging network. So again, this does not apply to everybody, but this is my experience so far. And what I wanted to share with you, the cost savings that I am able to see so far. So now let's take a look at my 2018 fuel and charging expenses. I created this spreadsheet to show you my monthly spend on gasoline during the first six months or six and a half months of 2018. And then also on the latter part of 2018 after I started driving my Model 3. And I also created this column which says away. My job requires me to travel quite often and I would also once a year we would take a family vacation. So if there is a period of time during the month where I'm away for a week, I would specify it here. And my schedule I have to say has been pretty consistent 
throughout the last few years because I know when I am going to be traveling. It's、um, a seasonal, I guess, or quarterly type of travel that I do. So there's no really,、uh, there's hardly any surprises. And、um, I also put down if I've taken road trips. So I mentioned that we normally take road trips in the latter part of the year. In previous years, and also for this year, and then、um, also the last column, car in shop. So initially, when I took the delivery of my, my Model Three because it was first production, there had been some minor paint imperfections, and I took the car back in after I took delivery, and it was in the shop for about a. A week and a half for them to fix the paint issues. So there's one week where I didn't have my Model Three, but they did give me a Model S loaner, and that has free unlimited supercharging. So I wanted to specify that as well. So now, as you can see, from January until the beginning of July, so this is where how much I have spent. Um, my gas. So the total gas cost I spent in 2018 was $800 dollars, roughly. And then as soon as I switched to the Model Three, I started using supercharging network. And my supercharging cost from mid July on through the end of 2018, it was only $194 dollars. One hundred ninety-five dollars. So the savings in between the first half and the second half of twenty eighteen is six hundred dollars for me. I'm actually quite blown away by this. And if you look at the Tesla's estimate of the total fuel cost savings. For over six years. So in the beginning, I showed you guys a quick screenshot. You can do this on Tesla's website. And you can type in roughly how many miles that you drive every year, and then type in the estimated gas price per gallon. So that's what I did. I drive about a roughly ten thousand miles per year because I travel <laughs> almost once every month, and、um, I also type in、uh, the higher gas, which is about three dollars and fifty cents on the average for premium gas. That I was paying before, so the total fuel cost savings over six years for me is fifty-seven hundred dollars. And if I divide that by six years, the Tesla estimate of the savings is about nine hundred and fifty dollars per year for me. I would say it's pretty much on track. And、uh, given that I have been doing supercharging, now. People would say, "Well, what about last year during this time period? You know, how do you make a fair comparison?" So, to give you another comparison, I went back one more year to 2017 and dug up all the receipts I did between July 15th or mid-July through the end of December 2017, and here you can see how much. I've been saving monthly from paying for gas to paying for supercharging. So, July 2017 and July 2018, I save roughly three dollars because even though I only filled up once in 2017 and I had to fill up three times. On the supercharging network in July 2018, because I don't have the public charger, I still save about three dollars. But then, as you can see, as time went on, my savings every year increased to where even when I had to take road trips at the end of the year in 2017, I still saved. Ninety dollars, just about. So the total gas cost in 2017 during the same time period was about six hundred and ninety dollars, and then last year in the same time period for supercharging costs, I spent about one hundred and ninety-five dollars. So the savings is four hundred ninety-five dollars. 
roughly $500. Still, that is pretty on point, I would say, with the Tesla estimate. And then I went even further because I've been doing public charging, free charging at the charge point stations by work. I am able to pull up some stats. So here you will see, oops, let me come back here. So I started doing this in mid-October, as I mentioned, and I pulled all the, all the records uh, for when I would go there and supercharge. You'll see some days I didn't charge, some days I did, and you know, certain period, this is when I had to travel and I was not in the office. And then this period also, I was also out of the office traveling and then um, I took the Christmas and New Year break where we went on a road trip. And so the total kilowatt hour of energy that I was able to replenish from the public charging was 453 kilowatt hour of energy. Now, if I translate that to supercharging rate, which is 26 cents per kilowatt hour here in California, I would have spent another $118 for supercharging. And coming back here to the very first comparison, that would tag on another uh, 118, dollars So that would bring my uh, cost savings down to between 400 and $500 um, just for the 2018 time period, which again is quite on track with the $950 per year estimate that Tesla was giving me. And then if I was able to charge at home, um, using the time of use rate that Southern California Edison, which is my utilities company, offers for the off-peak rate, super off-peak rate, which is 13 cents per kilowatt hour, then I would have only spent only another $59, $60 um, in addition to the supercharging cost. So. Yeah, this is uh, quite on point, and I would say that I am very happy so far with the cost savings that this car is giving me in terms of fuel, so I don't have to go spend hundreds of dollars on gasoline. I am reducing pollution in the air. I am also reducing noise pollution for the environment and for my neighbors. So it's, I would say it's a win-win-win situation. Well, there you have it. I am really happy to see that this car is already starting to save me some money. As always, if you enjoy this video and what I had to share, please don't forget to subscribe, make a comment, let me know what your charging experience has been, how much you have been paying for your electricity bill, and ask me any questions I'll do my best to answer. Until next time, have a blessed week everyone. Thank you.